right, so let's move on to our last case, which is complex root. So remember when we use quadratics formula, what's in the square root doesn't have to be positive. If it's negative, then we have complex roots in pairs in the form of a plus minus b times i. And the letter i is the square root of negative 1, which is an imaginary number. So in that case, we should expect the general solution to be of a linear combination of e to the a plus bi times x and e to the a minus bi times x. But we have to first figure out what it means for an imaginary number to be in the exponent. So let's first introduce what's called the Euler's formula. So if, we pl if you plug in i theta into the Taylor C expansion of e to the x, then you will realize this actually equals to cosine theta plus i times sine theta. So having imaginary number on the exponent translates to trig functions we know of. So if we, if we use this, then e to the a plus minus bi times x is actually equal to e to the ax times cosine bx plus minus i times e to the ax times sine of bx. So the general solution is of the form e to the ax times cosine bx and e to the ax times sine of bx. So it's a linear combination of these two functions. So let's uh, squeeze an example here. So if we consider the equation y double prime plus 4y equal to 0, then the characteristic equation is r squared plus 4 equal to 0, which tells you r squared is negative 4, so r is plus minus square root of negative 4, which equals to plus minus 2i. So r is equal to technically 0 plus minus 2i. So the general solution is of the form y equals to c1 times e to the 0 x times cosine 2x plus c2 times e to the 0 x plus, oops, times sine 2x. We all know that e to the 0 x is 1. So the general solution is of the form c1 times cosine 2x plus c2 times sine 2x. Okay, so let's uh, do a new example. So let's consider the equation y double prime plus, let's say minus, 4y prime plus 5y equal to 0. So the characteristic equation is r squared minus 4r plus 5 equal to 0. So if we use the quadratic formula, then r is equal to 2 in the denominator, 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 4 times 5. This is equal to 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus minus 2i over 2. So it's 2 plus minus i. So the general solution is of the form y equal to the linear combination of e to the 2x times cosine x and e to the 2x times sine x. It's a linear combination of these two functions. Now suppose we have the initial condition, say y of 0, is equal to 1, and y prime of 0 is equal to 5. 
So let's first find y prime here. So if y is equal to this expression, then y prime, which involves a lot of product rule and chain rule, is equal to 2c1 e to the 2x cosine x minus c1 times e to the 2x times sine x plus 2c2 times e to the 2x times sine x plus c2 times e to the 2x times sine x. So the initial conditions here gets translated into a system of linear equations. When we plug in 0 into y, sine of 0 is 0, so this goes away. So we have, and cosine of 0 is 1, e to the 0 is 1, so we get c1 equals to 1. And similar thing happened with y prime. So when we plug in 0, sine of x, oops, this should have been cosine. When we plug in x equal to 0, sine of x is equal to 0. So these two terms go away. And then e to the 0 is 1, cosine of 0 is 1. So all these are 1s. So what we get is 2c1 plus c2 equal to 5. This is not hard to solve. C1 is equal to 1, so this gives you C2 equals to 3. So the particular solution is of the form y equals to e to the 2x cosine x plus 3 e to the 2x sine x. All right.